Okay, y'all. Welcome back to S4G. It is what it is. Opinion show. All right, I got it all figured out. So now I leave it in y'all hands. My true supporters, my true fans, you know what I mean? I'm leaving it in y'all hands with this situation, right? Because I figured out what Mr. O is doing, okay? He's trolling my videos, and he's not just trolling mine either. That's why he spoke on the other internet boy. I ain't saying his name no more, because he ain't worth mentioning. But what I'm saying is this. And to prove that he's trolling my videos, right, we're going to go right into it. You remember the video, before the last video that I put up, when I, when I put out there, uh, how I said that, all right, you said you don't want to be with me, I ain't got to be with you. I ain't, you know, I ain't doing no diss track on you. You know what I mean? But he's seeing the outcome from all that, then he's already hurt. Feels some type of way to make them respond to him the way he wanted. So he's like, well, maybe I can get the advertising and things that I need from S4G. But I want to make it seem like he don't exist. I'm trying to blackball him my own way, as he said, me doing to him. You know, try to do it with me. Try to make it seem like I'm just ranting on my own, like I'm just talking about something for no reason. So how can I diss him without dissing him and make it look like he's talking about me like I, you know, like I'm a hot topic when really, really you're not. So, bang, what, what does he do? He DMs me because he heard me say that I ain't going to diss him. Basically, I'm not going to talk about him no more, and I went to something else. I started talking about, you know, uh, as far as Jay-Z signing, uh, uh, what's the name? Jay-Z signing, uh, what's the name from Dipset? You know what I mean? So, with that being said, what does he do? He DMs me. When he DMs me, you know what I mean? Bang. He calls himself sparking it back up. What'd he say? Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you did an interview about me. You did a show about me talking about me, whatever, whatever. You know what I mean? You could have just called me, whatever. Now, mind you, also told on yourself, too. How can I call you if I don't know, if you don't know who I am? I'm going to let that soak in real quick. How can I call you if you don't know who I am and we don't have no type of relationship or connection? Peep the last join us. I, I didn't even realize it, that I should have been sticking on that when I said that. Remember when I read that to y'all? He said, you could have just called me. How could I have called you? Oh, that means you sent me your number though, right? That means you knew who I was, oh, right? Told on yourself. I could have just called you, right? How could somebody call you unless they know you and unless you know them and you sent them your number? Okay. Which the number got changed? He changed his number. You know what I mean? Eventually. After time. You know, some people get different numbers. Because I did call the number. I've spoken that before when I called and talked to him straight up instead of doing this like this over the internet. You know what I mean? And it started speaking Spanish language or something like that. Unless, I don't know, he got one of them phones or somebody else phone and bought it or somebody, I don't know. But anything that starts asking if you want something spoken in Spanish or something, something is going on. So, make a long story short, I took it as this, it was the wrong number. But he takes it upon himself to say, I could have called him. Well, also, I sent you my number too. You could have called me. But again, we have no connection, right? You don't know who I am, but I could have called you. Because you sent me your number, right? And we were supposed to do a track with each other. So, with that being said, so he says all this, and then, you know, we go back and forth in the, in the, in the, in the speaking and in the, in the messages, but the whole point is this. Everything was left alone when I did that interview. You know what I mean? It's just the fact that I speak facts, and that pierced their heart. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, when I left it alone, say, all right, you don't want to be with me. I don't want to be with you. I ain't dissing you. He like, oh, no, I want that attention. Because I don't believe in myself no more like I used to. Because I feel like, you know, I'm looking at me and it's making me feel small. Like, dang, how he there and I should be there. And I would just pat this young boy on the head, giving him a dollar. You know what I'm saying? Now it's like, okay, so I want that spot. I need that spot. You know, I didn't do all that. 
when I had my chance, as much as he doing it, and Meek ain't responding to me the way I want him to respond to me by my little rant that I had about him. So now, and I don't have that much confidence in myself because if I did, if I stood on my name or what I've been through, I wouldn't even did that. The fact that he did do something for me and gave me 2500 at least. He gave me something. You understand what I'm saying? So with that being said, no, I need to spark up more attention. I need more attention on me. So let me this S4G respond back to him but how I'm going to do this because I want him to keep talking about me for the advertisement and attention but I want to make it seem like he don't exist at the same time so how do I do this instead of doing a video about him like I did about the internet boy you know what I mean and I ain't bringing up his name no more because he ain't worth it right what is, what is he going to do what's the best thing to do I'm going to DM him knowing he's going to take the DM the messages like I did like, like he did me knowing I was going to take the messages and show proof you know what I mean? And then guess what he does? Knowing that I'm going to react to it, and even saying in there, do your diss track. Because you want me to. You want to make it seem like you're irrelevant, like you you really worth that. Right? With that being said, knowing what the response is going to be, knowing what you're doing, because I left it alone, so you want to cook it back up. Because you want the advertisement, you want me to diss you. Alright? So with that being said, what I piece is this. After that, I goes on. I goes on the net. Go, I mean, I mean, I goes on YouTube. And when I'm scrolling, I know that same day he did a joint saying that Meek should apologize to him. I don't know what made you feel like Meek should apologize to you. Where'd you get that from? Where'd you get that from? But that's another topic, right? So. He did the same day. So I'm like, oh, I peeped that then too. So you, same day you say something about me, you already got something up saying make sure to apologize to you. So then, bam, I said, all right, I'll override that. I said, I'm still put out these facts. So that way when I bust out with this diss track, they're going to know what it's hit from. Why? With the facts at hand. So then with that being said, I do my response, which is the last video I did showing proof of everything. And how he even told on himself too. I should have mentioned that in there. How he said I could have called him when, as, as if if he claimed that he don't know who I am. How did I have his number to call him? So with that being said, right, bang. All of a sudden, after I do the response, right, I notice. Guess what he does? This is where the trolling at an old time high comes in. Right after I do the response video. Of us in the DMs and what was going on, he takes an old topic that I did talking about little Uzi Vert and and, and uh and uh little yachting them hairstyles and they style and stuff like that. Just speaking of opinions, not down and bashing them. I said I like little Uzi Vert music, stuff like that. Not bashing them down, but I was just talking about the change, the difference, the look. Then speaking straight up opinion and facts. He talks about the topic, but then guess what he does? He tries to compete with me in the topic. Knowing because I spoke straight up facts and tried to say, make it seem like everybody asking me what I think about them, right? Their hairstyles and stuff, that's a lie. You troll. You took my topic, then tried to go, compete with me in my topic and say, well, I really ain't got nothing against it. I really ain't got nothing this and that, right? Where I didn't say I was against it, I just spoke about it, my opinion on it. And then what showed you played yourself, because even in his comments, his commenters are saying, and one of the best ones I like when the commenter said, come on, uh, oh, come on with this politi politically correct stuff. Speak straight up facts about how they look, man, and what's going on, man. Was, you know what I mean? It ain't hate, it's speaking straight up facts. It's because he was riding off what I was doing and trying to compete with what I said. Because he knew if he said the same thing I said, it would make it exactly show that he was exactly trolling. Because he's really trolling everybody. He's trying to see how he can be the best monetizer he can. Because he cannot depend on believing in himself no more. Don't get me wrong, his name, of course. You can see his views. He still gets his views, but he's still not satisfied with that. It's like you can have all the money in the world. If you still ain't, if, if you need to find yourself, you still ain't going to have peace within yourself. You're still going to be jealous of others going higher than you. You can have all the money in the world. You can have all the views in the world. So with that being said, right? Man, especially if you feel like you ain't accomplished, you need to accomplish somebody accomplishing more than you, and you claiming and you put it out there that you was looking out for them, and they was under your wing, and now they higher than you. 
he having a hissy fit. Right? And same way you saying he don't want to see you shine more than him. Or get none of that light. Same thing you trying to do with me about dissing me in the DM. But then don't want to speak out and say my name in the video or nothing like that. Like you did the internet boy. So you kind of didn't yourself doing the same thing with me. Same thing going on with me and you. Same thing you see me doing to you. You trying to do to me. So bang, but you played yourself. So then now, with that being said, so I peeped the Lord. I peeped the, okay, this is what you do. He responded indirectly, again, trying to, you know, play like you ain't on my level. You know what I'm saying? You ain't on my level. I'm that bull, so you're not worth saying your name or none of that. So I'm going to take one of your topics, because he even said it, talking about the other internet bull. I'm going to take all your subscribers, all your fans. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take what you're doing and do it. You know what I mean? And, and do it myself. So what he did with him, he's trying to do with me. Look at his own video. He's telling on himself. Oh, he's an all-time troller now, man. He don't believe in himself no more. He lost lack of confidence. He, he's, he's put it out there. Yeah, I fell off and I, it's hard for me to get back to even believing in myself for real, for real. You know what I mean? And the video that I'm talking about with some of Lil Uzi Vert, besides for the title, it's the same one that his comments is bombing him. Talking about in the thumbnail, he looked like Bill Cosby. <laughs> Bill Cosby drunk. You know what I mean? They going in. Seriously, they is going in on him, man. Like, like it is what it is. I couldn't do that but laugh. You know what I mean? Right along with them, I put, I put, I put the laugh emojis. Like, yo, and then they bombing you. You know what I'm saying? You playing yourself, dog. For real. So, with that being said, so I look at the video. I said, let me see something. Because I know what he's doing. He trying to make it seem like, like, you know, you're not worth, okay, like you said, like I ain't worth talking about. I'm a nobody, right? All right. But then you following what I'm doing, watching what I'm doing, but then check it out. What does he do? Right? But it's trolling at an all-time high. What does he do? He takes it upon himself to, in the midst of the video, what did he, what did he say? After talking about little Uzi and them, he comes out of blue. Yeah, you know, I don't, I don't see why somebody want to have an opinion about me. Why would you want to talk talk something, you know, uh, bad about somebody that is, that's getting money? Like, like you know, I don't, I don't know. Why you start talking about you and talking about somebody having an opinion on you? You talking about me. It's comical. Like, yo, this boy is, yo, you making yourself look really, really bad, oh. You can have confidence in yourself again, oh. Look at look up all your old videos, man. Your old stuff that you did. Stand on your testimony, what you've been through, man. For real. You don't gotta troll my videos. You ain't gotta troll the other internet boy videos. You ain't gotta say me. Come on, me. Come on, me. You know what I mean? I hope you help me the same. It is what it is. You ain't got to. Like when I spoke on anything I did for me, I spoke. It was facts. I was facts. Same way as I saluted you. Okay, you put out facts. And I agree with your facts. Because facts are facts. Yeah, okay. He said, where is he said, post his joint. He could have posted yours. And okay, yeah, you did look out for him. So why not? He look out for you the same way, on the same level. Even though he did give you something, you showed you were ungrateful. No, I'm a more. I want your position. Basically, I want your position. How you doing all that? And you ain't. No, he did it with Jay Z, but basically, you ain't do what you. I mean, come on, dog. Are you want to go all the way there before I end this and finish saying what I'm saying about you being Mr. Troll now? You the type bull, right? You're not really an entrepreneur. I see you post a George and little Coven line. Please check his Coven line out. And again, get that appetizer seven. He needs all the help he can get right now, right? So with that being said, now people's going on too. You're not a bull to stand on your own too like that. For real, for real, dog. You're not like me. I do my entrepreneur thing. Same as I got a business license and all that in my pocket, bro. You know what I mean? Acts about me in the street. Went from drug selling and all that to doing everything positive. Business license and all that. Monetizing before you on this thing. Doing my own thing. Hold my own fort down. Look all around. I've been saluting and pushing people like I advertise you. And interviewed you. You submit the hood, it's hard to make the hood, show me how, so I can do it too. You know what I mean? So with that being said, I peeped that you're not that born in those same ways, 
you like I said, you're not that bull to stand on your own too and do the entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship, not I mean shit on your own. Because what proves that too is how you may rants about Jay-Z and all that. Like Jay-Z was supposed to carry you. Well, if a brother like me, anybody else got with Jay-Z, it's over. It's over. I'm not saying what Jay could have still did for me to this day and what he should have been doing. You should have took off from there. Then you want to rant about Beans not paying you your money. Why was Beans handling your money? Obviously, you couldn't handle it yourself. You should have been handling your own money. Why was Beans in control of your money, dog? You should have been handling your own money. Sound like you was riding on Beans. Hmm? Sound like you was riding off him. How you ran about beans owning you money? You should have been doing that on your own, dog. You should have been handling your money on your own. That's what a boss does. That's what an entrepreneur does. That's what somebody that's in control of their own destiny does. You understand what I'm saying? Just facts, bro. Just facts. Now you're doing that with Meek. It is what it is. Come on, bro. You're not like me. You're not like me, man. Everything I do is on my own. Everything I do is on my own, bro. That I got is on my own, bro. Everything I accomplished, everything I got, I did it on, on my own. I ain't depend on another artist. I was the artist that helps push and support other artists. You know what I mean? While I'm doing what I do. But it's people like you. And y'all see how I upgraded. I went from cursing to my lyrics and everything that I did to... Upgrade to the fullest glorifying God is still going hard with it. That's why I'm a threat to y'all because you're like, dang, I'm gonna have to change my raps. I'm gonna have to stop cursing. And we salute this boy. And y'all be the main ones that kind of kept here and stuff like that. Y'all want me on the come the come up show or none of that. Cause y'all know y'all hear me on Power Night, even though I'm on, because internet radio dominates everything. Internet radio dominates everything. You understand what I'm saying? So even if I'm not on Cosmic Cab or none of that, to come up show or any of that, I'm on internet radio anyway. You know what I mean? That's why Power 99 all that is on the internet because if it was just about being mainstream radio, like, like, like you know, out of the internet, they wouldn't be on the internet because internet do dominates everything. And salute to all the internet radio people that ain't trying to break your pockets. That's pushing people music for free. And not only that, even if you are getting paid for it, you deserve to. Because if anything, y'all get somebody shine before y'all try to get somebody pockets. But in all reality, y'all know the artists make the waves anyway. So salute to the internet radio cast that's putting people on and pushing their music, whether because they worked hard and they want to advertise them. Because really, that's the ones they really want to advertise, the ones that work hard. And salute to the ones that want to put out up and coming artists that don't get attention. So, with that being said, but it's people like this dude and them that, that, that's this blackballing cats and telling people not to put people, or just like, uh, uh, who else said that? Shout out to Tone Trump. Oh, that happened, you know, back in the day. Tony Trump said this interview on the Philly Fame Joe. Shout out to them doing anything. You know what I mean? Um, he said in his interview about how how uh, uh, Tony Trump said how DJ Cotton and Kev wouldn't play his music because of beefs he, prior beefs he had with other people in the city. Other rappers in the city. He said Mike Knox and them or whatever. You know what I mean? And because of that, Cotton and Kev wouldn't play his music. That's corny. So that goes the same thing with me. Power beeps of that, it ain't hard to tell. Or people could just, no, no, okay, don't play his music. You know why? Because if this boy bombing the radio left or right, going hard for God and everything that he's doing, that's gonna make it look like, oh man, we gotta, you know, if he take over on that note, dominating the radio, and everybody on some dad, they they, they love him and they put out even more how that's what's up. He don't curse and none of that in his music. He go off our guy. Now it's like, oh, we gotta write all our raps all over again. This is why, oh, really don't you wanna make it seem like I don't exist at the same time with the blackballing. And everything. That's why they all acting the way they act with me, while I'm a threat to them. 
glorify God, go hard at the same time? Come on, man. They know I've been a threat. You know what I mean? When I took the cursing out my lyrics, you know, I'm not knocking nobody. It was an upgrade. And that's how that's why I, how I choose to inspire people. You know what I mean? And could do diss tracks and all that. Who do you know? But me doing this in a city like this. So that's another reason why I don't need to diss no O. Another day. I don't need to ride off O, especially if you ain't irrelevant, like me anybody else doing anything. And like I said, I did the diss track towards me on some real talk. How he's doing with Philly. How he's not really rapping Philly like he really could be doing. You know what I mean? It's not that I hate his guts or nothing like that. I'm happy for me. I've always been happy for me. But what they say, even me said it, right? And all that. Rap is a competitive sport, right? I ain't out to kill him. Kill him lyrically. Like I'm killing, I'm going to kill you too. But this is how I'm going to do this though. Right? I'm leaving it to y'all. Cause salute to my real fans and supporters that said it in an interview. I mean, uh, said it in the, under one of one of, under one of my shows, one of my interviews, where they said he ain't even worth you dissing. S four G, just keep going, find God, doing what you're doing, making the hood rich. I salute you. You know what I mean? And then I got a half of them saying, "Man, bomb him. You right, bomb him. Get him out of here." Then I got half saying, "No, S four G, keep doing what you're doing. He ain't even worth it. He trying to ride off you. It's like me and everybody else for attention." So I'm going to leave it up to y'all, man, and it's like this. If I get over five comments saying bomb them, diss them, the more comments I say I'm weighing it out under this video that say diss them, because y'all know it's going to be a banger when I drop. But is he worth it? Because we know he's trolling and he really is begging for attention, right? He want to make it seem like he's irrelevant. Because really, unless you say my name, you know I show the proof, unless you say my name in the video or whatever, you really ain't even worth dissing, dog. Let alone you ain't worth dissing anyway. Meek was more worth the diss. You know what I mean? Because you wouldn't make it seem like I'm dissing you and going in on you, but oh, oh, we're just driving in this car. You know what I mean? On the road and people thinking about me. It's a lie. But you dipping in DMs. You know what I mean? Make it seem like you never seen love because you want the hate. So the point I'm making is this because you want the attention. So I'm leaving it up to y'all. Leave it under below. Should I drop the diss track? Because if I see enough comments under under this video saying I should I should drop the diss track, that's gonna be my next video. And I'm going extra. Come on, I ain't gotta say. Y'all know what I do. Leave a comment below. If I see enough comments saying bomb them, drop the diss track. That's coming next. And I'm going ham on this. Whoo, boy. But if I see enough comments saying, let's keep doing what you're doing, he ain't worth it. He ain't worth it. Don't even give him the, the exposure, the time of the day. No more advertisement for him. That's what I'm going to go with. Because I want to give y'all what y'all want. So y'all let me know. Should I bomb him? Should I not? Leave the comments under there. The more that I weigh, that's what I'm going with. Because I ain't going to be glorifying nobody that ain't worth glorifying. It is what it is. Because I go for our God. That's what matters. And they want me to step out of my element. They want me to go left. They want to pull me into things. I speak opinion stuff like that. But really, they want to beef with me. They really they really want to be with me, but when I act like I don't exist. That's another form of black bone because they know what I do. They know they're going to have to even more tighten their raps up. They don't want to have to rewrite their raps. They didn't glorify being a killer and a gangster. Now, oh man, how are we going to glorify God? I don't care if you, ain't, if you don't believe in Jesus. You know what I mean? Even if you're Muslim, you got, you know, you can speak out. People need to be following the law. You know what I mean? I don't care if you're atheist. Kick out. People need to believe in nothing. Glorify your God. You know what I mean? Devil worshipers do it all the time. Even though I don't condone it, but what I'm saying is this. Instead, you rather try to make it seem all oh, black ball, brother, because he go glorify God doing what you should be doing. Because at the end of the day, all y'all get on y'all knees and pray. But y'all let y'all let it be known. Leave comments under. Under this video. Should I bomb him? Should I drop it? So I can go ahead and eat through this ball and continue on what I'm doing. With Death of Devil Music 2. And that'll be the next video. Or should I just don't give him no more. Just let him finish. Just drown in the water until he found himself. Make the hood rich, baby.